Good evening. Governor Kristi Noem has made a decision on one of the most controversial bills to come out of the 2021 legislative session. That decision is to send it back. Today, Governor Noem sent House Bill 1217 back to lawmakers with some recommended changes. That includes limiting the impact to students in elementary and secondary school. She also wants to get rid of the section that would require students to sign a written statement verifying their sex and whether they've taken certain medications. Kettleland's Lauren Solik talked with a transgender advocacy group about the latest developments with the bill. House Bill 1217 made national headlines because of the impact it would have on transgender athletes in South Dakota. Susan Williams, the founder of the Transformation Advocacy Project, says despite the changes Governor Noem is suggesting, the bill is still discriminatory. This bill in any form is just no good for the state and for transgender individuals within South Dakota. The bill has been branded as an act to promote fairness in women's sports. In her letter to legislators, Noam says her changes would protect women's sports while also showing empathy to kids struggling with, quote, what they understand to be their gender identity. She goes on to say, showing empathy does not mean a biologically female at birth woman should face an unbalanced playing field. Williams says HB 1217 is not the way to promote fairness. If we really wanted to promote fairness in women's sports, we would treat coaches differently. We would pay them the same as we're paying um, coaches of men's sports. And, and so much more can be done to promote equity with uh, women's sports. This bill doesn't do that. This bill is discriminatory against trans women. And any time that you have a bill like this, that's discrimination. Tomorrow afternoon, the Transformation Project will be hosting a Let Kids Play rally at 41st and Louise in Sioux Falls from 4 to 5.30. Just to show the state that there are people here that are rallying around trans youth, especially trans youth that want to play sports and that we're standing up for them and that we're in their corner um, and we're against this legislation. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Zolik, Kelloland News. If lawmakers agree with Governor Noem's changes, the measure will only need a simple majority to become law. It will no longer need the governor's signature.